Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Tiger Hills Hockey League preview show, part one of probably about 16. Joining me right now is Shane Cowan of the Verdon Oil Capitals. Shane, how are you doing tonight? How are you, Travis? Oh, good, I believe I said, I said the wrong name. No, the Oil Kings, not the Oil Capitals. There we go, Oil Kings. We're in preseason form as well. I got to add it. The title, I see. Yeah, uh, it's late yeah. here. Technology's giving us a little struggle on all all ends. So what have you been up to this summer? Uh, not too much. I've been golfing lots. Uh, trying to get on as much as I can. You know, if I'm not playing hockey, I'm, I'm golfing. Obviously, uh, those are the two sports I love. So I've been doing a lot of that this summer. Yeah, Yourself? Oh, busy with the three kids and um, been keeping the house in order and all yeah, sorts of good. fun stuff planning for the upcoming season. Speaking of the upcoming season, how are the Oil Kings looking this year? Yeah, we're looking good. Um, you know, we got a lot of similar players coming back and we got some, some solid additions to the squad as well. So uh, we're going to keep a lot of that core group, which is nice. Um, but we'll gain a few a few young studs as well, which will be awesome to see this year. How heartbreaking was it to lose to Killarney in the playoffs last year after beating them the year before? Yeah, um, obviously two years ago beating them in playoffs was, was probably the Oil Kings' biggest win or biggest upset in the last, well, I don't know, five to ten years, right? Obviously, um, with our core group coming in, we, we helped this team kind of become what it is today and uh with two years ago that victory that was massive and last year was just just heartbreak uh you could hear it and see it throughout the room uh, obviously losing to those guys is never what you want uh we thought we were in it but obviously Killarney is a great team and, and just not being able to come out on top was was a tough one but hoping this year will be a different story talk about some of the players that are coming up and returning who should the fans be most excited to see yeah, well, coming back, uh, so uh, a couple guys we've had a few years ago, uh, we had Cam White and Eric Lemoyne. So a couple young guys coming back in the lineup, uh, it'll be great to see. Um, obviously, keeping our, our big star stud guys that we had last year, obviously, Devin LeBlanc is returning, Ty Lewis, um, just two phenomenal hockey players. Um, and then, like I said, that core group, right, we're going to keep those core guys here. Um, obviously, we got Tanner Lewis, um, Kiefer Johnson, Derek Cross, Andrew Duran, some of those core players that were just unbelievable and just a solid rock on the team for the past however many years they've been they've been awesome to the squad. Who's going to be responsible for stopping the puck? In the end, that was if any expert that I talked to. Verdon's been weak in the back end, much like Elkhorn, who had won the championship, but in the end. Yeah, sorry, just one more time, Travis. Just sorry, broke up just a little bit there. Who's going to be between the pipes for the Oil Kings? Uh, sorry, starting goalie, is that what you're asking about? Yes, yes. Yes, okay, sorry, yeah. Uh, so still going with the same net miners that we had last year. Obviously, a couple couple local boys in Tristan Rin and uh, Kyron Gehring. Um, so first first year together as a tandem last year, uh, we were surprisingly very happy with with the way they performed. Um, Kyron obviously not playing for for several years before that, and Tristan kind of being on and off with us for the past couple of years. Have you guys lost anybody this off season? We appear to be having some technical difficulties. Please bear with us. That's the be of live technology. And we have lost Shane momentarily. Bird and finished. 
Oh, we have Shane back. Yeah. Um, so just yeah, continuing on with that goalie question. Tristan Ren and Kyron Gering, we're we're super happy to to have them back in the lineup this year. Obviously, local boys. Um, great chemistry, blue guys in the room, right? Great to have them. Um, and we were happy with the way they performed last year. So I think going going forward, just sticking with those guys and and it should be should be a great season with them. What are your, the areas of strength for the Oil Kings? I think number one, especially, would be offense, right? You look at our forwards, we are deep all the way through the fourth and, and even extra guys, right, to the fifth line, if you will. Um, so we're super happy with our offense. That would be definitely our number one. Um, obviously, like I said, we, with those star studs up front, and then just how deep that goes throughout the whole lineup is, is definitely our number one strength, yes. And what about your weaknesses? Yeah, weakness, I would say, uh, obviously, defense the last couple of years, just numbers-wise, right? We have some great guys, but when it comes to either commitment or just being able to get six D-man there every night, that would be definitely where I would say we struggle. Um, this year, we a couple of additions hoping to make that easier on ourselves where we can always have six guys there every night. Yeah, absolutely. It's so hard to get all your guys there all in one night and... I think that was the main reason why Boys of Ain didn't have a team last year. Yeah. What's it mean to the league to get them back this year and maybe with a little different face running things? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Boys of Ain, great, great young talent, right? Obviously, I've played against Boys of Ain my, my whole youth, right, growing up. Love them. Uh, obviously, seeing them a couple of years ago with with – their leadership and then some of their their obviously massive guys it was it was tough playing right it was tough playing against those guys uh but it'll be fun to see i know a couple of those guys on this new boys of a team with with this new look and, and i think they'll be young you know what i think they'll be solid they'll be they'll be a good team to play against this year yeah my wife told me a, f- a few of the names and she said they my wife's from here okay and yeah. that's what brought me here so um she told me that they were strong throughout high school and should be pretty good for the upcoming year as well. Yeah, yeah it'll be good to see. I, I, I know some of those boys, it's good to see them back in, in some senior hockey. So, Absolutely, and looking forward to doing several games involving them. It'll be nice cutting down a little bit of the travel costs with yeah, boys sure. having a team. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are you most excited about for the upcoming year? Well, to be honest, just to be back back with the guys, right? Obviously, um, we ended the last season with a little sour taste in our mouth, so so we're all hungry to be back. Um, and that that opening game of the season, I think we got Elkhorn, so it'll yeah. be it'll be good to see. I'm excited uh, excited to see how we do and and how we look out there. Yeah, no, we might have to find a few sponsors from down in Elkhorn area and get on the road there before it gets too bad that's yeah for sure although we did have some technical issues there the start of the year but i've yeah. been told they're a little better this year and hopefully yeah hopefully i know i know anytime you're taking a video camera in that barn and if you're trying to go live it's it's never easy that thing is that thing is old and it's cold but you know it's an awesome place to play i played there growing up and 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 they got a solid team so it'll be fun to play against them this year Oh, yeah, and they love their Canadian Seahawks. Yeah, that's exactly right, yeah. As we saw in the provincial championship game, I think. Um, shout out to the Minota Nursing Home. That, that was fantastic. They, they tuned in, and they were just happy to be able to watch it. And that, we enjoy bringing it to you as much as you guys watching it. Yeah, I know we had a few of the Verdon boys, and we hate to say it, but yeah, we were there, right? We were cheering on the Seahawks because because they're just down the road 15 minutes, and yeah, you hate playing against them, but they got a good group of guys, and it was awesome to see that happen for them. Talking about that rivalry, what should you mentioned 15 minutes away? You guys have been playing against each other your entire life. Yeah. How has the rivalry been lately? Uh, as of late, obviously, so I, I started joining the old Kings probably seven, eight years ago and, and the rivalry was strong then. Um, and then obviously we had that year, year two where, well, we joined the Tiger Hills and they were still North Central. So it was calm there for a little while. And then we got back at it with them. And I, every time you step on the ice, 
like I said, they're great guys off the ice, but you hate their guts on it, right? So I think it's it's one of the best rivalries we have in the Tiger Hills Hockey League, in my opinion. And and I love and hate playing against those guys every night. It's it's awesome. We've got a few really good strong rivalries in the Tiger Hills. Yeah. You got you guys in Elkhorn and Boys of Ain and well from the management, nobody likes Boys of Ain, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was just exactly. the innocent broadcaster. <laughs> <laughs> Killarney especially did not yeah. like boys of aid. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, so how's Elkhorn looking this year? Have you heard? Yeah, well, I've been talking to a few guys. Uh, I think they're losing a couple guys, but you know what? I think they're going to be as strong as ever. You know, they still got their core group and those those Bulls brothers and and a couple other guys and. You ever have you stick that core group anywhere, they're gonna succeed. So I think they'll be solid this year and and we'll come to see how the first game goes against them. Are there any teams that you think could surprise? Well, to be honest, Boys of Ains. Like I think Boys of Ains is a tall team. And you know what? Uh Rivers as well. You know, Rivers was in the mix last year, but I think they're gonna get even stronger this year. And and with that goaltending and lamb, I think they will do do solid and they'll go a long way, I'm sure. That's one arena I've been wanting to get to. I hear they've got a new barn. Yeah, it's beautiful. Have to still waiting on the schedule, still waiting on the full schedule. Yeah. And, yeah. Which time's running out. I gotta That's exactly right. It's right around the corner. And I don't know if you know Travis, but obviously with that that Killarney series at the end of last year, some some tempers flared and and I got upset. So obviously, I'm sitting out for the first few games. Unfortunately, this year, I didn't know if you were aware of that. So three, no, games, three game suspension after the end of last year. So that's that's tough. But uh, I'll be watching the first few games from the stands. Well, maybe I'll have to join in on some commentary. Right. You never know. Maybe some play by play. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, so talk about the end of that. Kalani series last year. Who yeah. well, you the only one? I, I think I was the only guy, unfortunately. So um just one of our guys took a bad hit. It to me it looked like it was a check from behind and and just I kinda I kinda saw red, right? I got upset and then I went after their guy and he went down and it just it is what it is and and I I always joke with the guys, well I didn't have a penalty all year. But come the end of the season, right? I took whatever I took in the in the last game there to end up getting me a three game suspension. So it's listen, the the tempers were high, but again, it was a great series against Clarney. They're a great team, um, and I'm excited to to see them this year. Obviously, with them being the other division, won't see them as much, but I hope we can see them a couple times, anyways. Maybe near the end of the season, eh? Who are I haven't really seen the standings either. Who's in which division this year? Uh, all I know is I think we got boys in back in ours, and then I think Killarney just gets booted over. And then I know Cartwright uh, might have folded as well that this year. Yeah. I think so. So boys it'll be similar, similar to last year, but with with the addition of boys of Ain, obviously. Boys of Ain and Killarney aren't in the same division. No, I don't believe so. I think Killarney's actually yeah getting the boot over to the other side. So it'll be us, boys of Ain, and and. Last boys have been Red Rivers, Elkhorn, and then obviously we'll have Cirrus and Melita and, and Hartney and Delarain maybe as well. So that's almost disappointing. It is. It is. You don't get to see that rivalry, right? But yeah, uh, once once a year, right? I think we go over there one time, so we'll see wherever it happens. But yeah, it'll be good. Definitely got to head on head on down to the Shamrock Center. That's always that's a nice arena. To beautiful rink. Yeah. Call a game. Have a visit with the Magwood boys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that uh, anything else you want to add here tonight? No, just super excited for uh, for this season, and uh, I uh, hope we can go all the way this year. I think it's our year. So, absolutely, and best of luck to you on the upcoming season. And we'll talk to you again. Right on. Thanks, Travis. Appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. That was. Shane Cowan of the Vernon Oil Ca- Oil Kings, not the Oil Capitals. Ignore that. That's an error on my part. I will see if I can make a change in post-production. But this is part one of the Tiger Hills Hockey League preview on TL Media. <laughs>